all right guys i hope you are doing all great so it's been a long time and my last video i don't know when it was so first in today's video we will talk about two basic topics and these are monitor selection and settings for smooth movie playback what does that mean basically it means you should have no jitter on your screen when watching a film for theater like smooth movie playback experience on from pc to your tv or to your monitor you need smooth movie playback settings so basically there is something called smooth motion in medvia let me show you a few things in medvia so basically these are these are the movies for any kind of movie if i play joker here let me show you Let's just see there's a rendering process and there will find smooth motion. What does it do? It really interpolates your frame and eats huge chunk amount of rendering time from your GPU. So keep it disabled. This is the best setting. So what should you do instead of this? Just overclock your monitor or underclock your monitor. For monitor, you for example, my monitor is 60 hertz default, but it can go up to 75 hertz. But uh, I overclocked it to 72 hertz for 24, uh, 23.976 and 24 FPS content because most of the Blu-rays, I mean all Blu-rays in the world, comes with 24 or 23.976 FPS uh, video because both are equal. There is no difference in them. Just uh, different thing just see here so my movie playback on this screen will be very smooth there will be no jitter like uh, frame stretching three two uh, frame pull down etc no bullshit the movie plays smooth so basically what can you do just pick your uh, just pick your uh, content i mean video frame rate for example, uh, where is calculator? Here is the calculator? Yes. For example, I have a monitor with the I have a content with the sorry I have a monitor with the sixty hertz refresh rate, and I want to play twenty four fps video without any motion jitter on it. So I have to divide it with twenty four, and the answer is two point five. It must be in full digit, no point, nothing, just in full digit so i have two choices underclock my monitor or overclock my monitor so if i go two times i, I get 48 hertz if i get three times if i go three times 24 i get 72 so overclocking is really best uh, instead of underclocking now this is about monitor the recommended uh, refresh rates for monitor for smooth movie playback with default is 120 hertz because 120 hertz covers whole large area of movie uh, video tracks like 30 fps uh, 20, uh, 24 fps 60 fps and 120 fps uh, 20 fps you have to underclock it to 100 hertz or overclock it to 125 hertz that's it now let's come uh, now let's jump to tv section what is tv uh, there's a smooth thing tv is uh, you have to enter in display mode of 24 hertz in your disc in your tv because tvs do support 24 hertz of playback so what you can do just go to med vr and go to devices uh, go to devices here will find your tv and just go to the display modes and type uh, your tv's resolution native resolution for example if we are if you have full HD TV, just type 1080p and 24. Whenever you launch Mad VR, uh, whenever you launch a film and Mad VR is enabled in background, your your TV will automatically switch in 24 FPS. I'm not very sure about Intel media cards with this mode, but uh, with NVIDIA and AMD GPUs, you can certainly do this thing without any flaw. So just it jumps uh, totally into 24 FPS. All right, so 24 FPS and you can play 23.976 and 24 FPS con Blu-rays without any jitter. Don't worry about it, guys. For example, if you have 4K, just type 2160, 
P24. Whatever you enter, it will show you here. It will show you here valid or invalid. Just don't worry about it. For example, if you have 768P TV, just go 768P. That's it. Or 720P. It's all about max uh, resolution limit. For example, 100, 100, uh, 1080p, etc. Now this is the basic thing about TVs and monitors. So don't worry about it. If you have 60, 60 hertz monitor, don't worry. You can overclock it or underclock it. You can create custom resolution in NVIDIA. It's pretty simple. All you have to go just NVIDIA control panel. Go to customize, create, uh, enable this option first. Create custom resolution and 72. Just type here, test it and apply it. Yes, it. That's it. That's you need. Now let's come to our second point the point is dolby atmos true hd dts x dts hdma 5.1 7.1 dolby digital 5.1 dts 5.1 dolby digital plus etc any movie codec i have so many comments how can we set up our audio receivers for movie playback my last very uh, very viral video can it help us with this uh, setup so my answer is no, you must, if you have a receiver setup like you have Yamaha, Onkyo, uh, Sony, Denon, Merans, any kind of receiver which supports DTS and Dolby audios, all you have to do just uh, launch a movie and uh, go to MPCSC options. First, uh, just go to uh, external filters, add filter here and uh, find, here you will find FFD show audio processor and ffd show audio decoder uh, here it is ffd show audio processor and ffd show audio decoder i have uh, not installed uh, ffd show audio decoder that's why it's not showing here but uh, you must select dolby sorry ffd show audio decoder here and go to ok and then select and block and then go to uh, LAV audio filters and tick all these columns. All these columns. Just tick, 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 tick. Don't take this and don't take this. Do not and take this. All right. All right. If you are still receiving PCM, try to untick this option, but keep it ticked. That's it this setup actually it really helps what this setup do for me i'm not bit streaming audio why because i have no receiver setup i have my speakers connected to analog ports green you will find here that's why i have to keep these settings like this now how to check what kind of audio your video has like uh, dolby atmos or dts x or any kind of stuff how many channels does it have does it has any kind of stuff go to the movies go to the movies and uh, for example this is dts x track let me show you first you have to install media info it's a very tiny tool if you have klite codec pack installed in a pc media info is really a free tool within it so you don't you don't have to worry about it now go to DTS X. This is the X codec. You'll find it here. DTS X L L X. Object based. Object based. That's it. Basically, eight channels is a core. DTS HTM is seven point one core. That's why it's showing DTS eight channels. All right. Now let me show you Dolby Atmos track. For example, here is Dolby Atmos track. Uh, Dolby Atmos looks like this Dolby True SD with Dolby Atmos and it is the updated version of Media Info. Uh, so here's eight channels. Basically, it's a core True SD seven point one core of Dolby Atmos track. So here's the codec. Now let me show you Dolby uh, Digital five point one. Here's the Dolby Digital Basic AC three five point one. 6 channels 5.1 4, 4, kbps now let me show you dts hdma 7.1 here is the dts hdma 7.1 where is dts hdma here it is dts hdma 
DTS XLL, but you will not find any kind of object based info here. That's why it's not showing you object based. If it shows you object based, it means DTS X enabled. The very best thing you can do about audio tracks if you are downloading any movie or if you are planning to download any Blu ray for a movie and if you are not certain about source, the audio is real or not, just go to Blu ray.com. Oh shit, Blu ray.com and just type. Most of the movies comes from uh, UK and United, United States source, most of the Blu-rays. So if for example, if I want to download Pacific Rim, Pacific Rim uh, 4K is with Dolby Atmos. Sorry, my net is really slow today. So the original audio on Pacific Rim 4K Blu-ray is Dolby Atmos not dts hdma 7.1 on many torrents you will find dts hdma 7.1 there are two chances they are manually encoded because you can encode dts hdma but you cannot encode dolby digital uh, dolby true sd track because Dol there is no true sd encoder free or pirated true sd encoder available on entire internet for dolby true sd or dolby atmos so Dolby Atmos is genuine audio and uh, for and uh, if you want to download 1080 version of this movie it is a 1080p version is a 1080p version 1080p version shows you dts sd master audio 7.1 so what you can do if you do not want for uh 4k if you do not want 4k video you want 1080p video what dolby atmos track what you can do just like me what you can do download both prints first download 1080p uh, 1080p blu-ray then uh, download a 4k blu-ray or 4k blu-ray rib with 30 GBs and extract this audio track from Dolby Atmos track from 4K RIP and mix it with uh, your 1080p video version and you are ready to go. So this is the part one. I don't want to make this video so lengthy. This is the part one. Just uh, wait for part two. In that part, uh, I will show you few more MedVR settings, more advanced MedVR settings because recently I upgraded my monitor, upgraded my GPU so I can scale much, much more settings from MedVR and so please stay tuned. Thanks and subscribe.